Hey everyone, it is Zach, and this is another episode of Hope for Master Ball. In the last episode, I talked about how I built a team around Magnazone and Magnazone's band. So, we're just pre recording a bunch. I'm going to be out of town this weekend, so I'm trying to get my videos caught up. That way, I can have daily uploads but still be able to enjoy the weekend with family and friends. So, last episode. And the last couple episodes, we've really seen how much defense, like good defensive switches can really hurt this team. And here we see Rain. So, I've seen this team. This is a team that uh, Aaron Zhang is using. Actually, Clefairy Primarina is a solid lead. There's really nothing to check Ferrothorn. The only thing I have to worry about is Ludicolo. Ludicolo could be a real good opposition against Primarina here. And we'll just keep the Porygon Z in the back. There's nothing too much that threatens Ferrothorn here. I want to say maybe a fighting type move on Dreadnaw. So we went with Seismitoad. So I do want to follow me. The thing is, do I want to... I think I want to just try to Energy Ball first. Because I don't want to Dimax too early. Because they could have the Kingdra or the Ludicolo in the back. Which can fare really well against Primarina. More, more so the Ludicolo. And so, Okay, Substitute. I remember this is Substitute. This is also Poison Jab. Just follow me again. We'll go ahead and energy ball. Because you can keep using substitute, but that means we're stalling out your rain. Probably Ludicolo here. Escavalier, okay. So you go ahead and get the Tailwind. So I want to go ahead and protect here and switch into Ferrothorn. Okay, so you're just using Pelipper to target down the Clefairy. And a Swords Dance, that's actually pretty bad here. Let's just Moon Blast the Pelipper. And try to get an Iron Defense off. Who are you switching in? Ludicolo, okay. Man, I wish I've been paying attention to more of these episodes. We got them to use their Dynamax first though, but they're still in a really good position. Max Steel Spike. 
That's enough to take out the Clefairy. How many more turns of Tailwind do they have? Two, uh, one more turn of Tailwind. And one more turn of Rain. So I want to say Max Guard. And let's just Iron Defense again. Bring him back in. Seismitoad. Does Seismitoad have something that hits Ferrothorn? Okay, Max Flutterby will drop the... Ooh. So rain stopped. Tailwind's over. I want to say Pelipper comes in. No switches. Max flutter by again. That's going to do a lot. Just enough to knock out. <laughs> I think here you can bring in Moody Colo and just fake out our energy ball. At that. Pelper is a good bring. Was it worth getting the knock? I think it was worth getting the knockout. I think we have to try to body press. We do live. Oh, but we get the confusion. Please hit. Come on. Oh. That's match. That has to be match.
Does Pelper have Roost? We get the Protect. It's a Hurricane. And Mega Horn. Mega Horn has a chance to miss, right? Let's try to get the double. The double through confusion. This is over. Oh, okay. Uh. Two more turns of rain. <sighs> oh critical, right? No. That's what you get for not keeping up on your Cybertron Zang videos. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. I think like my play is getting too streamlined. Like I'm not like I'm going through the paces instead of like really thinking about it. So there's the trick room. Okay. So that's the thing. Do you do you see my talent flame PZ and go? Toxicity. We are really toxicity weak, but they don't know that we have two water types with Urshifu. Do I want to switch? Yeah, let's go for Thunderbolt and then switch in Clefairy. Because they're going to set Tailwind here. Tailwind's free for them. And you, they actually went for the Brave Bird. Okay. We're not in too bad of a spot here. I want to say an Overdrive comes out. Snarl. Okay. But we didn't max, so we can just...
we can just feed off a friend guard and just try to get as much damage with PZ as we can. There's the Toxicity Tree. Not the uh, Toxicity goes out for Dusclops. So let's hope you went into the Clefairy here. Oh, it's a weakness policy. I just... I thought it would be room service. Can you take out Clefairy through? I think we have to bring in Talonflame here. We're gonna taunt the Dusclops. We're minus one on Porygon Z, so Max Darkness isn't gonna do that much. I wanna say Delmai survives. But as long as we can shut down the Trick Room and put it in range where a Brave Bird can hit it. Shadow Sneak. So you might be doubling into Talonflame here. I could go Urshi Pearl. Iron Head does neutral. Surging Strikes is not very effective, but it's gonna crit. Brave Bird's enough. You're just getting you're just trying to get enough chip for toxicity. Is your boy scarf though? We do get the tailwind.
that should be enough to knock it out. There we go, there we go. All right. So you need at least two. You need at least two turns. Ugh. Okay, come on. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Woo! They were highly ranked too, weren't they? I'll have to look back at that. I feel like we played that one really well. Uh, we haven't been doing that in the last couple. And I accidentally clicked battle again. So, third match. Okay. We have our last trainer for the day, fresh. Oh, Toxicroak. I like Toxicroak. So I think I'm going to switch it up here. We're going to go Town Flame PZ. I think we have have to bring Urshifu for the Ferrothorn and we have to bring our own Ferrothorn. If we want to go to a Ferrothorn on Ferrothorn matchup, we have to we have to get on the field first and we have to start iron defensing first. If it comes down to a Ferrothorn versus Ferrothorn matchup, whoever iron defenses first is probably going to win. Unless it's uh, most Ferrothorns in series six, like it's actually off beat that I'm running uh, body press. Iron Defense Ferrothorn. Most of the Ferrothorns in Series 6 have been uh, Assault Vest. And they just barely locked in. That trainer card is fresh. Pelipper and Ludicolo. So here's what I thought we were going to get. And this is what I think we're going to see. I think we're going to see Ludicolo fake out the Town Flame here. So what we're going to do, because they're expecting Porygon Z to max. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to max Town Flame and go for Airstream and then Thunderbolt into the Pelipper. We won't take too much damage with Gale Wings. Are, are with recoil, Brave Bird recoil, but we will be able to hit the Ludicolo pretty hard. And if I want to, I can always max Flare if they want to bring in the Ferrothorn to try to get rid of the rain. But I do want to take care of the Pelipper first. And you're actually maxing Ludi. So you might just be trying to match my Tailwind. Hopefully this works out and this wasn't a giant misplay. Oh, it was not a misplay.
Come on, one shot. Oh, you are sashed. You went for Tailwind, though. You went for Tailwind. There we go, yep. So here's the thing, we didn't take damage on Talonflame, so we still have priority uh, Gale Wings. And you go ahead and bring in the Ferrothorn. What could you have in the back? No more Swift Swing users. Yeah, let's just get rid of the rain. And then we'll get rid of the Pelipper too. Or we'll hit whatever's coming in. Amoongus. Amoongus takes that. We get rid of the rain. Okay, so this one might be more offensive because it's the... Figgy Berry. I could see a double here. I want to go ahead and try to double into the Moongus. We're going to see a Rage Powder. Okay. We'll go ahead and Dark Pulse. And we'll see the body press. Fair. Here we bring in the Urshifu. And like I said, with with Talonflame maxing, we haven't taken a bit of damage, and we are plus two. We are plus two, so we outspeed the Pelipper even under Tailwind, I believe. And we have priority, so I'll just Brave Bird here, and close combat into the Ferrothorn. Because even, even with one uh, Iron Defense, we should still be able to take out. Okay. Well played, Fresh. That's what I was saying with, that's what I was saying with getting into just like doing the motions. If I would have just been like, oh, well, I'm going to set Tailwind and and max PZ, I w definitely would have got beaten there. Ludicolo would have done a great amount of damage to PZ. Or, like, and they would have had Tailwind. So, that's one of those situations where 
fake out got nerfed because one, it doesn't affect Dynamax, and two, when you are faking out, you have to play the mind game with Dynamax, where, yeah, they, they could have set their own Tailwind and fake out on to my Talonflame to break the Gale Wings and get the speed advantage and just sweep me the next turn. But at the same time, we kind of covered that play by maxing Talonflame. And as, as you saw, one of the few occasions where maxing Talonflame works out pretty well. But anyways, uh, this was a long one because I kind of played more matches than I thought I would. I hope you made it this far in the video. If you did, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are slowly, oh, let's check the team out. Next special attack. So you're kinda like, you're old, it's, it's the older body press set before people were just like, hey, we need to have protect and recovery. Toxic Croak, I'm really sad that I didn't get to see Toxic Croak, but there's your fake out user. Did Ludicola didn't even have fake out. So we covered an option that we that they didn't have. But at the same time, the max airstream was enough to knock out the Ludicolo. So especially with the sharp beak. And that is almost the same set as mine. Let me get muscle band. I've I've ran that. I have ran that. Sorry about that ADHD moment. But anyways, like I said, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're, we're just slightly over 200 subscribers. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the content, even though I haven't changed the teams in a while. I'm not really motivated to do teams because of series seven coming up. I don't want to like put any investment into anything. Uh, but who are you excited for in series seven? I'm definitely going to have a video next week where I'm talking about it because it's coming up and in like a week and a half. So anyways, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.